What's up guys, Cyberblade here, and welcome back to another quick tutorial video for Xenoverse 2. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly take your custom created character from Xenoverse 2 and basically turn it into like a mod file so you can customize it, put moves in it, change the aura and all that fun stuff. Uh, the stuff you'll need today, you'll need the CAC2X2M uh, program. I and mean, then you'll need your Xenoverse 2 installer folder because that has the character creator thing and all the other stuff. Um, so you want to open up your CAC to X2M folder. You want to open up the program. Uh, for mine, I already set it up where it already brings me to my save file. But you want to locate your Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 save file. You want to click on the save file. You want to open it. And there you see that I have my first character and my second character, so we'll pick my first character as an example. You want to click OK. Uh, it'll say your character code, so anything. So what I do is I will take the first three letters of my character's name, and I'll make that as the code. Make sure the code is capitalized. I don't know why, it just works like that. Um, when, you, when you create uh, your character, it'll automatically bring up all your presets, all your uh, uh, outfit presets. Um, the first one is like the standard one, and then this is when it's like preset one, two, three, four, and five. Um, so if you if you want one, you click one. If you don't want the others, you uncheck them. Uh, I'm just gonna uncheck that, because that's just standard. Uh, and then you would click OK. You pick where you want it, name it, however you want it. Um, and then see, it'll save to the uh, X2M file. Save that right there, let it do its thing. Now it's done. So now that we have our uh, CAC as a X2M file, I'm gonna X out of this right here. We're gonna open up the Xenoverse 2 installer folder. Mine's pretty full because I have a bunch of stuff in it. And you wanna go to the XV2 character creator program. You wanna open that up and it'll open this up. This whole thing will help you uh, make your character, you know, change the voices and stuff like that. So we're gonna open my character right here. As you can see, my character, it says the author is the CAC2X2M. Uh, it'll give you the this, this code right here. This, if you wanna make like a duplicate of a character, change this code, it essentially changes the whole uh, character. Like, you can have multiples of the same mod, just different codes, and you can mix and match and change them, whatever. Um, you don't want to worry about anything down here unless there are multiple costumes and stuff like that. Um, and if you want each costume to have a different name, you would uh, check this right here. You check the entry of which costume that you're, of your character that you want. You type in the name, hit enter, uh, do all that stuff. I don't need to, so I'm not going to do that. Obviously it says, you know, if your character is no Zaru, you can click this. Most characters aren't, so you don't have to click that. Everything else is straightforward standard. Um, these are the files, the character files that, uh, so you have your character file, your portraits, your battle portraits, your audio. If you have a custom audio, you would put that in here. Your custom battle portraits, you put them in here. Um, go through here. These are your slots, AKA like your presets and stuff like that. Um, here, right here, is where you can change the voice of your character, so that way, like, say you want him to talk like Goku, or you want him to talk like Goku Black, or Trunks, or whatever, you would essentially copy the values from the game. So say we want Super Saiyan God Vegeta, Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. So essentially, these two right here are his voice, so you would... Let me show you the power beyond that of a Super Saiyan God. So essentially, if you did that, whenever your character would, or when you click your character, like in the in the character chooser, um, instead of it just being the random act voice, it's Vegeta's voice. And it'll also be, well, I'll show you a little further down. You can also change like, uh, when in fight, you can change the voices as well. Um, these, this right here is like the move set. So if you want someone to fight like Vegeta or something, you would change just the, uh, the cam.ean, the bac, the bcm, uh, the bdm, and you want to change the en, ean. That right there, if you change anything else, it's going to ruin your character. Only change those specific ones if you want the moveset to work properly. Um, I'm not going to do that because this is just a test. Um, here you can change the custom skills. Mine's already, because my character already has all these skills on it. Uh, so you can see that it's linked. 
if you want to embed skills, you essentially want to add, click add, but you can go to your like skills and stuff, and you can, I have a lot of stuff, <laughs> um, and you can say like, oh, I want to put times 10 divine comment, how you want to open that, and instead of clicking link, you want to click embed, so you embed it, which means anytime you load this character or this XUM file, that move set or that move will be loaded alongside with it. If it's already in the game, it won't. If it's not, it'll load load the move set in. Um, great way to kind of have your own little move sets kind of all over the place. Um, next tab is the CSO tab, which is the uh, like the voicing and stuff like that. So essentially, you would keep this. And if I wanted Vegeta, you want to change these three right here to VGT. And then the Vox is VGT, the, this one is VGT, but you also want to add dash VGT because that's more of a, uh, I, I haven't really figured that part out, but it, it works. And then VGT for most of the skills, so like when he does like Galagun, it'll actually say Galagun, it'll do his voice line and all that other stuff. Um, but essentially this just makes you essentially Vegeta. Um, move over to the next one. This is just basically the stats of your character. So you can change the stats, you do whatever, you can copy it from a from a, a character in the game. You can even copy the buff buff stats as well, or your own. Uh, next up, we're gonna do the aura tab. This is something that a lot of people have been asking about. Basically to do to change your aura in game as like your base aura. This right here is your base. Um, if you want to use a custom one, you want to make sure you click custom aura. Um, actually, real quick, when you do a custom aura, you want to make sure that this is negative one, meaning that it's not going to pick an, a default aura in the game. Use your custom aura. Um, real quick, we will open um, Diki's aura pack right here, which I'll put a link in the description. Um, and as you can see, it has the IDs folder right here. So you would click on that, and everything's opening up on my other screen. <laughs> but it gives you all the IDs for, like, the specific auras. So, well, mainly the specific sparks. These ones are more um, lightning effects and stuff like that. Um, so, like, you'll have your blue sparks that you can put in the henchin start, which is here. So, essentially, you would say, if you didn't want an actual, like, power-up aura and you just wanted lightning, you would just put the henchin start, and you would put, like, 9,002 for the red sparks. Now, if you want them active, you want to hit glare. Glare essentially just lets the lets the game know, hey, these guys are already like powered up. Show the show the aura. Um, so that's basically that. Any other aura, the IDs will tell you what to do. They'll say like boost star, boost loop, boost end, Kai charge, all the other stuff. Like it'll tell you. It's very it's they they help you out a lot. Um, other than that, all this other stuff doesn't really matter. Um, it's only from mod info to aura to basically make your character a custom character. Like, well, not a custom character, but make your character kind of modded, per se. Um, and then, once you're done, you would hit save, obviously, and then it would save your character, and then you would just double-click the, the uh, X2M file, and it would, in it would install in your game, and your character's in your game. I'm not going to show you the gameplay because I'm kind of doing a bunch of stuff in the game, so I don't really want to add anything different. Um, if this tutorial kind of helped you out a little bit, kind of threw you on the right track, um, a like, subscribe, I'd appreciate it, and um, I will talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.